cases that we usually come across when we audit a Google Ads account managed by another agency is that they are using Performance Max campaign, but they do not use the Performance Max Insight script by Microts. Now that is a big miss. And it also suggests that the agency which was running Performance Max campaign was not even aware about this script or did not even bother to look beyond the out of the box reporting by Performance Max uh, by Google Ads. And therefore, I wanted to make this video and make it super simple for everyone to understand why that script is needed and then why, uh, how you can actually set it up. So, first of all, when you go into reviewing the Performance Max campaign performance, there are things you can look at, which is at the campaign level, you can look at all the KPIs that you have for other campaigns as well, cost, conversions, conversions by time, conversion value by time, ROAS by time, and so on and so forth. You, But inside the Performance Max campaign, you can look at some of the things as you can look at asset group performance, you know, so you can go to the table and look at the asset group performance. There is only one asset group you can see what this asset group is doing but you can't see the thing that you can't see out of the box performance max is if the performance max campaign is running and it runs across it can run across six different channels where is is it, is it spending how much because it's important to know right if you have a performance max campaign which is spending all of its you know budget towards display and not towards shopping then it defeats the purpose or for that matter search or discover or youtube video so you gotta know where your spend is going inside a performance max campaign and to understand that insight mike rods has been very kind to create a pmax insight script and all you have to do is plug that script into your google ads account and it's it's free of cost by the way and once you plug that script it generates a report into a google sheet and that google sheet shows you where the spend is being you know where the campaign is spending in which channel and that is a super super valuable insight to have because what we usually see if the pmax campaign that we have the performance max campaign that you have is spending heavily towards shopping that means it's good if it doesn't then we decide to create a standard shopping campaign or a feed only pmax campaign to steer the you know pmax campaign towards shopping because that's what we want for an e-commerce uh, business. Or if we notice that, you know, it's going more towards search or display, uh, not towards video, we would create a video conversion ads campaign and so on and so forth. There are multiple uh, action items, actionable uh, insights that this report can give you. So let's go and see how this PMAX insight report can be set up. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go to Google and search for PMAX insights script okay and you will find the first link which is on github by agency savvy pmax this is a script by pmax uh, by microts like i said and it's free of cost for individual google ads accounts mike himself has made a video showing you step by step how to do it but i wanted to make another video uh, trying to in an effort to encourage folks to use this script this is a lovely script that you need to use and understand why you need to use this all right and also mike's video is built on the made on the old interface and i'm doing this on the new interface so that should be a little bit of value add to you as well so all you have to do is uh, scroll here and look at the latest version the latest version right now is version 28 which was released four months ago and very simple steps you can go through the readme file but i'm walking you through here so Open the script, copy this whole thing, select command A, command C, or you can simply click this copy button here and go to Google Ads. And now here you can go to tools and under tools, you have this bulk options here, bulk actions. Under bulk actions, you have a scripts and then hit this plus button, big blue plus button, go to new script. And once this page loads, we have copied the script from here, the entire script from here, from the Pmax Insight script page by Microts on GitHub. And now we have to paste this here, provided that Google Ads loads this page fast enough. Okay. 
there you go so replace everything that is here so you have the default function here that is remove it and replace okay now that you have replaced the script before you run this script you have to do one more thing which is this report this script will generate a report into a google sheet and mike has given a google sheet template that you need to use make a copy of that and then plug that template here on this line number 13 okay there is this these two single quotes here under within these two single quotes you have to put that copied uh, copy of the template so first of all copy the template uh, so let's see if we have copied the template yes template is copied and open this template onto your browser once you do that provided you are logged into google ads account google account then it will ask you to make a copy of the document so make a copy and once you make the copy it's basically going to copy the template <laughs> i'm like like i'm saying this because it's not working okay now it's here so once you have copied this report now you can go and rename this report for a particular account right so pmax inside report report for xyz pqr online store whatever like you know I'm, I'm not naming my client here so i'm just saying that you can name this so that you keep a track of where this is it will also be helpful to have uh pmax insights pmax v28 this is version 28 because mike will release a new version and you will need that so keep a track of this so version 28 this is an online uh, store pmax insights report right all right so once you do this now you are supposed to copy this url from here go back to your google ads account and where the script page is now remember we had to replace the script here so go to line number 11 and notice this area and let me zoom this for in for you so you have this line number 11 uh, spreadsheet app dot open by url and within these two single quotes enter the url of the template that you've just copied from microts okay that's all once you do that now you have to run this script that's all you have to do do not make any other change on the script now once you run this it's going to ask you to preview okay and once you preview it's probably going to ask you to authorize yes it's going to ask you to authorize so click on this authorize button here and you have to basically authorize the script to use your Google Ads login and be able to make changes. Allow. Cool. I don't know if you saw that pop up window because I was just sharing this uh, window, uh, one particular window. So if it opened in a pop up, it might not have seen it, but steps are very simple. It will open a pop up window where it, it will ask you to allow the script to use your account. Okay. Now that authorization is done, you have to run this again. See, automatically saved and preview so this time when you preview it's not going to ask you to authorize because it's already been authorized and give it a second uh, it's going to preview and then generate the report into the template that you just copied so now that we have already copied this template let's just close this window just to avoid any confusion and now we have this sheet that is on your drive on my drive right now and it will be on your drive when you copy this and to be to to see the report what you have to do is let me move this here move myself here there so yeah um, go to charts and this is where the report should pop up let's see if the report has run already still running still running the preview a lot of magical things are happening behind the scenes so give it a, give it a minute max you know and while you are waiting why don't you go and like this video this is an awesome video guys uh, i'm trying to add value i'm trying to spare my valuable time for you and i care a lot about your learning and growth and if you're a business i, I care a lot about uh, your money being spent wisely and getting the maximum returns on ads ad spend possible so i i deserve some love here okay <laughs> cool uh, by the way if you are uh, while you are waiting let me also plug my course and plug my uh, google ads agency here for the interested audience 
So if you are a business, you can go to CreditPPC.com and request a free audit. If you're spending anything more than $5,000 in a month on your Google Ads account, request a free action plan where uh, you know you start to provide us the name, basic details and your Google Ads account access, uh, read-only access to your account uh, for 24 hours. We'll review the campaigns and you know send you a report which will also include an action plan actionable plan right which will sort of give you a template of how to go about like first of all i will identify the opportunities for you and then i will also tell you how you can go and implement those right so action plan uh, obviously you need to know google ads yourself or you can just decide to work with us uh, let us manage this professionally for you all you have to do is hire us we charge 6.99 per month or five percent of the ad spend we are one of the lowest in this space and we are actually the lowest uh, in the world among the agencies worth our salt and we pride ourselves to say that uh, we are one of the best out there so we come at a very good price we offer you top-notch world-class google ads agency management service and you know we can start with a free audit if you are a specialist and okay still previewing looks like there are a lot of uh, you know cooking is happening here so if you are a specialist, uh, you can learn Google Ads with my courses. Plus, I have some 60-odd case studies that you can benefit from. So all you have to do is go to academy.cadetppc.com and then you can uh, go to all products here and you will notice that I have these bunch of courses. So start with the B1 if you are absolute new or even if you have... Uh, if you've not done Google ads at the world class agency level, then start with the B1. Even if you know the basics of Google ads, this is going to change your perspective because it's my 15 years of grind into 14 hours course. And then level up to become a world class Google ads specialist by, especially if you are a Google ads, trying to become a Google ads specialist for an agency. Then this will be super helpful to you a lot of folks have found these two courses very helpful and they have actually you know found uh, you know jobs they're doing really well and once you do these two courses then jump on to do these case studies like these are the live audits done for candidates who had their google ads account but they were managing it themselves and then they needed some expert advice that's where i have looked at their campaigns and i've given them real advice so you can look at these 60 case studies g1 has 20 g2 has 20 and g3 has 20 and once you complete these two courses and 60 case studies trust me you will be in the top one percent of google ads experts out there that's my guarantee to you and there is no job that you can't crack any interview like whoever is the expert sitting out there they will love your answers they will love your uh, understanding of google ads and they will most likely hire you uh, that's what people have come and told me. So let's go back and see if the script is done. Okay, it's finished. Great. So it's finished. Uh, preview is done. Let's see if the report is updated here. And just to see that, you'll have to select. You see now, campaigns are showing up here, popping up here. That means the report is now active. It's done. So there you go. It says, let me join it for you. So most of these campaigns that we are running they are running entirely on shopping because the blue bar is the shopping cost here uh, red would have been video green would have been search and the gray would have been display most of these campaigns are running on shopping so this is great uh, this is probably also for the fact that we are running feed only campaigns here feed only pmax so you know the reason why we're done we are running feed only pmax campaign because this is what it works for this client and the results are there to see right so if you go and see let's let's close this the job is this this is done oh by the way one important very very important thing is that when you create a new script you gotta name it so by default it's unnamed script so i would like to name it so pmax v28 by i like to my give my uh my credit everywhere so my grots okay cool thanks mike you've done a real good job here uh, okay so save it and close it now you're done anytime you want you can come and check it 
by the way you can make this script run uh, every 24 hours daily whatever time you want to run want this to run and it can run for you every day and you can come back and check every day and see how the pmax campaign is performing across different channels you can also go and check this other reports like you know campaign level asset group level ad group impressions ad group cost and value and stuff so but i think the key the crux of this report is knowing where pmax is spending its money uh, where it's getting traction from and this is a super handy report okay um, because if we were running a full build pmax campaign we had video and image assets and search obviously text ads uh, headlines and description lines it may have been spending some money on search some on display some on video and you know we decided to run it for feed only and feed only pmax is what we are running so the most of the like entire spend is going towards uh, shopping um yeah this was a deliberate choice made and if pmax script was not there inside the script was not there we'll probably not make this decision so um that's the video guys that's the video that's the uh, i hope uh, this is helpful to you uh, i have not done anything magical here it's microts who has done the magical thing here my job was to only make you aware of this amazing script that you can run on your pmax campaigns and get the breakdown of it cool so thank you so much if you like this video give me the thumbs up i have already requested you that but i am reminding you one more time and i will see you on the next video cheers bye